Hey everybody, it's Fernando and I'm back with another video. I just wanted to share with you a uh, purchase I made today on Impulse. Uh, this is uh, something that I've been looking at and researching for a couple of months now and I actually went to the store to look at them and I just bought it. Um, so let me introduce you. Everyone, I'd like for you to meet Lucky. The scientific name is Avicularia avicularia, uh, but it's more commonly known as a pink toe. It's an arboreal spider, which means it lives above ground um, and in trees. Um, the males can grow up to three and a half inches. Females can grow up to five inches. They're very fast and they're very good jumpers. And I was actually just went to the store to look at them just to see what they had and, you know, check out the prices and stuff. But, uh, I saw it and I really felt sorry for it because the living conditions that it's in right now are just horrible. There's green foam at the bottom and it looks like it's been picked at and torn at. Um, and you see it all on the other side over here in his web or her web. But he's fascinating to me. He's very pretty. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and set up Lucky's new cage. And Shane, my husband, actually named him Lucky because today is St. Patrick's Day. And he got lucky because I pretty much rescued him from the pet store. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started with setting up his new home. It's going to be a lot larger, a um, lot bigger and more comfortable for him. So here are the items that I'm going to be using for Lucky's new home. I have a two gallon fish tank. I think it's a two and a half gallon tank that I'm going to use and it's tall and the top, I like the top because it has LED lights on the inside of it so that during the day I can just give them some light and then at night I'll turn it off. Some coconut husk as the substrate. Cork bark for him to climb on and make webbing with. So I'm just mashing up the coconut fiber. Another thing about the pink toes is uh, they're a tropical spider, so they like it humid. So Lucky's enclosure will need to be sprayed twice, three times a week from what I understand. You know, he eats the same thing that uh, my bearded dragon Cloverfield eats. So crickets and uh, dubia roaches, um, they'll have, they have similar diets. So that'll be good because I've already got all of that and uh, I won't have to invest in any, any food. Today, while I was at the pet store, I was actually at Petco, and, um, and there was this little family there, and they were actually looking at the bearded dragons. I overheard them talking to the sales associate at Petco, and from the sounds of it, I could tell they didn't have that much knowledge when it comes to taking care of bearded dragons because bearded dragons require a very specific environment to live in. You know, you just can't get it and throw it in a cage and call it a day. So the little girl had picked out her bearded dragon. Well, the dad picks up a heat rock and he asked the associate if that was okay. And she was like, oh yeah, that's perfect. And I had to intervene. I had to jump in and I had to say something because I couldn't let them take that little bearded dragon home without having any real knowledge on how to take care of it. So I explained everything that they needed. Um, and they actually took my advice. The very first thing I told them was that, that, was that the heat rock they got, that's gonna burn his little belly because they uh, sense light from their head. It's almost like an eyeball, <laughs> not an eyeball, but anyway, um, they can detect light and heat from that sensor on top of their head. 
and you know they can't really tell if something's too hot by laying on it so there's a very good chance that if they got it um, that the poor little thing would have burned his little tummy before I couldn't believe that the associate there was just gonna let him leave um, with that heat rock and uh, you know it makes me sad wondering how many other creatures or animals have left the pet store um, with the owners being given incorrect advice you know you know before I got Cloverfield I've researched spirited dragons for like months and uh, I made sure I had everything that I needed before I even got them um, and I did think the same thing with Lucky. I've been, you know, researching tarantulas uh, for a couple of months now and decided to take the plunge today. So, but yeah, that's just a, you know, if you're going to buy a pet, make sure you research it and so that you know everything that's involved with taking care of it. Because I don't care what it is, if it's a dog or if it's like cat, even a fish. Um... You need to learn how to properly take care of it because that's just cruel if you don't okay so my coconut fiber here is about ready it looks like this will be good for, for lucky because it'll hold moisture cloverfield's looking at me crazy i think he's jealous are you jealous it'll be okay he's gotten so fat i'm very happy that he's pretty he's growing pretty quickly now it's ready for the cork. I think that looks good so far. So now I just need to get them a little water dish. For a little water container, I'm going to use this Gatorade top. Just push it down in there and fill it with water. Just gonna put a little greenery here. So it is done. Okay, so I have a paintbrush here and I'm gonna use this to coax him out. Are you excited about your new home and better living conditions? They're super fast, so I've never handled one of these before, so let's see how this works out. I'm gonna take his leaves out here. For there you should be able to see his, you see his pink toes, that's uh, why they call him pink toe tarantulas. He's very pretty, or she. Um, I think you can find out after they molt. You can look at the molt and you can determine whether they're male or female. And when that happens, um, we'll see what Lucky actually is. There's a cricket down there. You ready? Here we go. No, no, go back down the other way. There it is, that says completed terrarium. And Lucky is actually in the back behind that cork. He seems to be very active, um, so I'm sure we'll see more of him. Um, and as soon as he starts making webs and stuff like that, I'll make another video. Well, that's all we have today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope you all have a great evening. Take care. Bye.